The Netherlands in 2039. Healthy living is the norm. Illness is considered a burden, not only to yourself, but also to society. Ending up in hospital is a last resort, which can be avoided by taking good care of yourself. The government and insurance companies actively support this healthy lifestyle in order to minimize the cost of healthcare. Lily is 26 years old. She keeps an eye on her health using sensors. The chip in her arm measures her blood levels and she has regular checkups with several healthcare providers. The love of her life is Max. He is a PE teacher at a secondary school. Lily and Max met in school, unlike many others these days who use DNA dating apps. These apps check whether you are genetically compatible and will be able to conceive healthy children together free from genetic disorders. Lily and Max would like to start a family, so are participating in a government program. A healthy start to your pregnancy. They receive information about healthy eating and exercise, but also about the free genetic screening that is offered. Lily and Max decide to have their genetic profiles analyzed, and it turns out that Max carries the gene that increases the risk of breast and ovarian cancer in women. Lily carries multiple genes that result in a slightly increased chance of developing epilepsy. Their doctor explains that through IVF, they could select an embryo that does not carry the gene for hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. Or they could choose to have the genetic flaw removed from an embryo. Both procedures are covered by the government. She strongly advises them to have the genetic flaw removed using CRISPR-Cas and stresses how safe this technique has become in recent years. The doctor points out that the treatment for breast and ovarian cancer is very stressful and expensive. Even if they had a boy, he would still carry the gene and would pass it on to his children. If they do not intervene now, future generations will have to carry the medical as well as the financial burden. The doctor is not concerned about the increased chance of epilepsy. This can be treated effectively with new and inexpensive medication. Lily feels pressured by her family and friends. Child, just think of how much misery you can prevent with one simple procedure. Why would you choose not to do that? You want your baby to have a happy life, don't you? Without all those nasty diseases. But Max is having doubts. Is genetic modification really such a small procedure? He hears that children with modified DNA are tracked for the rest of their lives to check for unwanted side effects. Lily is troubled by the feeling that society is dictating what choice they should make. You're not obligated to modify genetic disorders, but it doesn't really feel like a free choice either. And also, an IVF procedure is not exactly a walk in the park. Which path should they choose for their future child?